think sustainability was first uh, a personal value long before it became a corporate value. Sustainability is something that uh, we as a family have taken very seriously uh, for a long time. If we want Mother Earth to survive and be there and be fertile for the next generation, then we as a generation have to become conscious. Each and every one of us have to take that conscious effort. If we don't take the steps now to protect our only one Earth, then within the next generation, I'm not saying the next three generations, I'm saying within the next generation, the ability of this earth to sustain us and uh, the fact that uh, the quality of life for the next generation will deteriorate in a dramatic fashion, as it's already happening right now. So only one earth is not a plea, only one earth is a warning. We have already been practicing a plant-based vegetarian diet for the company since our very inception. A plant-based diet is one serious way of saving the planet. Simply put, if we were to essentially become just an additional, maybe 20% of the planet to become plant-based, that by itself would free up so much land. Basically, what it would do is it would slow down the devastation that the planet is going through, right? There are other parts of the world where they practice vegetarian weekdays. So in a sense, even a step in that direction would be a very big one and an important one to take. Save yourselves and save the planet. There's some of the things that um, we kind of practice, I mean I do at home, is that um, one is of course using uh, recycled cloth uh, bags when we go to the supermarket and market to buy your stuff. I actually kind of, you know, wrap my, uh, my bread not in plastic, but in beeswax, actually, because these are wraps made from beeswax and it's affordable. And rather than putting them or, or wrapping them in, you know, even foil or plastic, and these beeswax wraps are reusable. You can just wash them in warm water and you can use it back. Composting is something that has been in the family for generations. My granddad used to compost and in essence it was a, a simple mound that he put at the back of the home where generally he collected all the leaves and shrubs and, and uh, stuff of that nature. But I've always looked at composting as something beyond that. The amount of food waste that is collected in every home contributes to almost half of your garbage. For those of you at home, it's very simple. Nowadays, small countertop compost machines that you can essentially just plug into the nearest socket and it creates superb compost for your house plants and for anything else that you have your mind for. So compost. Now the other thing we can do is the drinks. You know, when you go out there and they're giving you a straw, you know, a plastic straw, you can carry something. I mean, I do. Um, you know, this is a, a, a pouch that kind of has, it comes with a bamboo straw, a chopstick, a knife, spoon and a fork. It's all bamboo. Um, it's easy to carry. You know, you can put it in your handbag and men don't worry what other people are going to think. You can just you know, put it into your belt, in your pants, and it's not really heavy. And there's a lot available out there. This is yours actually, it's blue. Even I have to carry this wherever I go. We have shown you in our small way how 
we change the way we live every day to make it sustainable in our lives. And we would like to ask you to start doing that today. Make a difference in your life so that it can make a bigger impact in our living.